What's up, family? Hey, so I was asked to make a video on what was the hardest lesson for me during my growth and development. It's been a lot of hard lessons because I'm hard-headed. I was extremely hard-headed. Um, there's an old saying showing my age. Hard head make a soft butt. A hard head makes a soft butt. Man, I I got beat down a lot, man. And I'm not talking about physically by nobody. I'm talking about in my spiritual walk because I was hard headed. I had to be broke. <laughs> I was like a mule, just stubborn, just I'm gonna do it my way, you know, and man, I did it my way and got beat down. <laughs> But, you know, it, it made me who I am. It, it made me who I am. And um, <laughs> I appreciate the lessons. Because I remember the beatings, you know, and, and I remember how painful the beatings were. And so it made me appreciate the lessons. And, yeah. <laughs> but the hardest lesson for me was probably um, in the beginning. You know, you're you're trying to help other people, and um, not feeling like they validated you, not feeling like they embraced or accepted what you had to say, and you know, you personalized it. You know, um, speaking for me, I personalized it. You know, I looked at it as they were rejecting me, they were rejecting the fact that, and invalidating the fact that, man, I've gone through the hell that I've gone through. You know, I'm talking about spiritual hell. I'm not talking about just the physical stuff that I went through growing up. I'm talking about just the spiritual path that I was on and the stuff that I was going through. You know, and I'm not talking about just the meditation aspect of it and the praying and waking up in the middle of the night, literally crying, you know, just bawling, you know, um, waking up in the middle of the night, just drenched in sweat my whole body drenched in sweat you know and it's not hot in the room i mean it's cold but for whatever reason i'm drenched in sweat and you know it's not because you got the flu or you got a cold or you got ailments in your body or in that anything of that nature it's because you're actually doing some spiritual work and going through some stuff that man you're catching it you're literally catching it you know and People couldn't understand that. People didn't see that. And so it was hard for them to appreciate all the work, all the pain and things that you put into your growth and development. And so when you tried to help them, it wasn't from the perspective of you think you better than anybody else. It was just out of genuine love and compassion, you know, and when they didn't want to listen, it was hard because you knew that after a while, I was like, okay, I can't argue with this person. I'm not going to fight with this person, man. I'm just going to sit back and watch them crash and burn. And that's a hard thing to do when you love somebody is to sit back and watch them crash and burn and be broken down, you know, because they refuse to listen. And, and I guess the part that it, it hurt so bad for me is because I saw me in them. I saw my stubbornness. I saw my rebellious ways, you know? And it's like I didn't want them going through what I went through. I didn't want them to have to learn the way I had to learn. I didn't want them to be broken the way I had to be broken. Because, again, I was a stubborn mule. You can't tell me nothing. I was going to do it my way. And, man, I had to pay the price for that spiritually, you know? And I didn't want people to have to go through all of that if they didn't have to. And so when people wouldn't listen and... You know, and you tell them step by step of what was going to transpire, you know, and, you know, people say, oh, you're prophesying over them and whatever. You call it what you want to call it. I don't care what you call it. But the fact is, is everything I told them was going to happen actually happened the way I told them it was going to happen, you know, and it's not the toot my own horn or anything of that nature. It's I was given the information. I just passed the information along, you know, and they didn't receive the information for whatever reason. And I personalized it in the beginning as them rejecting me. And I, I personalized it and it hurt me so much because I still hadn't dealt with my issues of needing to be validated. 
I hadn't dealt with my issues yet of not being good enough. And why am I the one being given this gift? Why am I the one being given this opportunity or this ability to be able to see the future and be able to tell people what's going to happen and show them what's going to happen and to be able to help speak these things into their life as far as giving them the tools that they needed emotionally um, and intellectually to be able to get beyond where they're at. And when they didn't accept it, when they rejected it, man, that it pricked a nerve because uh, I had unhealed wounds in those areas of my life. And so um, I would dare say that that was the hardest part of my growth and development was watching my loved ones, people that I genuinely, truly cared about, you know, um, refuse to listen and accept what I have to say. And I understand, you know, everybody has their own journey. You know, and I had to come to grips with that. You know, this is part of their journey. This is part of their their growth and development. You know, this is what's going to make them better. This is what's going to help them become better. And yet it still didn't take the sting away, you know, knowing that, man, this person's about to catch hell. You know, this person's about to catch it. And you know it. Yeah, there's nothing you could do to soften the blow. There's nothing you could do to ease up that pain. But it is what it is, you know. You just sit back and love them and be there for them, you know, when they reach out. Um, and every one of them has always had to reach back out, you know. Uh, a lot of them won't do it personally, you know. They won't do it face to face. Um, they'll send me a text, you know. And that's a way of, you know, for them being able to say face. And it's cool. It, it is what it is. I don't care, you know. Um, I'm just glad that they're growing. I'm glad that they've been able to get beyond that point and learn the lessons that they need to learn. Um, and so that was my hardest thing. Um, love you guys. Peace.